Nationals hosting the Phillies, and the Phillies are minus 191 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 160. The over-under, nine runs. The Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by at least two runs. And the Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way and they would win this game outright, you'd win. Or if they only lost this game by one run, you would win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And if you like a particular pitcher in this matchup, you may want to lock them in overnight just in, on the off chance that they change the pitcher. Now, when I make my selections, it's based off of the pitchers that you see. So if they change the pitcher, chances are there's a very good possibility that my pick is going to change depending upon how skewed the stats are. Lorenzen pitched once against the Nationals. It was his last start. It was when he threw a no-hitter. Uh, nine shutout innings. They won that game seven to nothing. And he struck out five. The Phillies are two and zero in his two starts. He's averaging eight and a third innings pitched and five strikeouts per game in those two games. And he has pitched against the Nationals in the past before. And he is two and one against them. The over is two and one. Uh, and he's allowed seven earned runs total in those three games, striking out five, seven, and four. In his last couple of games, he's actually thrown over 100 pitches in his last two starts. The no-hitter, uh, no obviously, is one of them. Uh, nine shutout innings, five strikeouts, and he threw 124 pitches. And then two earned runs, five strikeouts, 101 pitches. Those were his two starts with the Phillies. For the Nationals, Adon pitched against the Phillies twice last year. Five innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 5-3. to three. He struck out six. Four innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 5-3. to three. And he struck out five batters in that game. They are 2-2 two and two as a team in his four appearances. They've used him as a starter and as a reliever. They've won his last two starts. He's averaging three and a third innings pitched and three and a half strikeouts per game in those games. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Phillies are on a two-game winning streak. The Phillies are 6-4 and four against the Nationals in their last 10. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite winning these games by multiple runs, laying a run and a half on the run line, is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings, one in their last three. The under has hit in their last two. The over-under is 4-4-2. Four, four, and two. And the over-under at 9, specifically, is also 4-4-2. Four, four, four games went over, four games went under, two games hit 9. It seems to be like a magic number when they play each other. The last series that they played was a four-game set in Philadelphia. The Phillies took three, three out of four, winning 8-4, then losing 5-4, then winning 7-0 and 6-2. For the Phillies, they are 6-4 and four in their last 10. They are 1-3 and three in their last four. And the over-under is 4-4-2 in their last 10 games. Losing to the Twins 8-1 and 3-0, then losing to the Blue Jays 2-1, and then beating the Blue Jays 9-4. For the Nationals, they're on a two-game winning streak. They just beat the Red Sox twice. They're 6-4 in their last 10. The under is 5-4-1 in their last 10 games, and they are 5-1 in their last six. Beating the A's 8-7 then losing to the Red Sox 5-4, and then beating the Red Sox in back-to-back -back games 6-2 and 10-7. I understand that the Nationals are playing hot right now, but seemingly the Phillies have their number, and I'm not going to go against the guy who just threw in a hitter against this team not even a week ago. I'm going to take the Phillies with the money line. I'm going to take the Phillies laying the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.